Yeah, a couple of couple of little niggles, but we'll get a bit of an assessment on that in the next sort of 48 hours. But overall, we're, we're pretty good. And confidence-wise, you must take a lot out of that performance. Yeah, yeah, we do. And, and you know, it, you know, it's no secret we've been under the pump, haven't we? Um, we haven't hidden from that. We haven't been able to. <laughs> but um, look, we, you know, the boys should be confident after that performance. And um, but we need to still keep the boys grounded and you know there's some stuff that we'll have to sharpen up on and um, keep growing. Just a word on, you mentioned the young front row and uh, I guess they're not long into, into Test Rugby. What have you made of their progression and, and development? Yeah, I think they've um, been given opportunities and um, you know we've challenged them and we've sort of set them up in a couple of areas around how they prepare and making sure that they're ready but like they're coming on and making a real impact so that we've got a good mix at the moment and obviously Neeps and, and Offer are still there and Angus is playing um, this weekend as well so and Aidan Ross so that's <laughs> you can never have enough front rowers I've always said that <laughs> special people but um, I think that it's creating competition in that area which we needed to um, so that breeds a lot of confidence You got to the bottom of um, Dan Coles and Pablo's uh, snub last night. In the yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Um, me and Joe got our one wrong in the coach's box too. I don't know if you've seen that yeah, one. Yeah. But um, yeah, oh, look, Pablo was in the shed afterwards and, you know, it's uh, it's pretty out of character from him, to be fair. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure they'll move on. Looking forward to the next time <coughs> they meet on the field, no doubt, those yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're both competitive men. <laughs> and what about your one in the box? <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a, uh, I didn't know, I realised Joe was there. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, he missed me twice this morning actually in the coaches' meeting on purpose. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, no, nah, she's all she's all good. Um, it's been good with Joe, and yeah, I just didn't see him in my sight there. It's a bit of a John Key moment, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tunnel vision on the fords. <laughs> yeah. Um, just a word on Sam Kane. Um, must be pretty proud of um, the way the skipper responded. Yeah. Um, you know, last night. Yeah, you, sort of the <clears throat> the respond. You know. We, we shouldn't have to respond as players or, or All Blacks. We should be just consistently building our habits and getting better. So that's the challenge now. Skip was phenomenal last night and he'll need to back that up again. And, and he'll know that and uh, we'll get behind him. And But he should be pretty proud of his performance, definitely. How much are you enjoying working with someone like Sam Sonny at the moment in the form he's in? Yeah, Sonny's going well. Um, he's going well because he's got very experienced hookers helping him as well, like um, Cody and Colsey have been outstanding, you know, and they're competing, like I said before, around the props extremely well, which is making guys thrive in the environment and challenge each other. But yeah, Son Sonny's playing some good rugby and we keep him grounded and keep him working hard and so he doesn't get ahead of himself, so that's, that's our job and yeah, he's going well. What's the schedule look like, Jason? You head off to Melbourne Thursday, is it? Friday, Friday. yeah. We assemble in Auckland on um, Thursday, so we'll name that travelling squad, I think, on Wednesday. Is that right, Matt? Yeah, Wednesday or Thursday, yeah. How many, how, oh, sorry. How many players do you take? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> I'm not actually sure. Okay. Probably the same as what we've got here, isn't it? We might take an extra prop. Okay. Yeah. You mentioned consistency. Do you think uh, so far this year when you come up against new opposition, it's taken your blacks a while to, to adjust? Yeah, I think that's probably fair. I, definitely, I made a couple of mistakes before that Argentina preparation, a couple of things I should have spotted and been on to. Um, and that's the difference between test rugby and building competition points, isn't it? So, um, yeah, it's, it's up to us now to prepare really, really thoroughly against Australia for two tests so that we're straight away off the mark and ready to go. Does it give you a bit of confidence at the top of the championship now heading into two big test matches? Yeah, I've never been one for points table. I always uh, just look at what's ahead for us this week and trying to be better every day. But um, look, we, we've got a long way to go yet and we know that the, the Pledisloe Cup is pretty special and uh, we'll build that accordingly as we when we assemble. Just, just in terms of those niggles, I know you haven't assessed people yet, but can you tell us the nature of the injuries? Or well, Shannon just had a bit of a niggly rib. He's about the only one, yeah, other than that, dinged up after a pretty intensive test matches, you know, a lot of... A lot of collisions in the wet. Just in your sort of few weeks in, um, has it opened your eyes to how much how the fluctuations in form and you know how world rugby is at the moment with the teams? Yeah, they're really well matched it seems, and you only have to be a little bit 
off to get beaten by a heap. And yeah, the margins are small, but um, it challenges you as a coach and, and same with the players. We know we've got to be right on every week and we wouldn't want that any different. But definitely the teams are, there's some close games, everyone's beating everyone, aren't they? So. Yeah.